Let's use AI to create data for your application. Yo, it's Adam from Weaviate, and welcome to another episode in the series Build with Weaviate. In this episode, we're going to walk through a Jupyter Notebook, which will generate mock hotel objects. We'll do this by randomizing some data points like landmarks and amenities for the hotels, and we'll leverage a large language model through the OpenAI Chat Completions API to create those JSON objects for us. These JSON objects are going to be of our specific design, and then we'll extract data for use later. Then we'll learn how to use Weaviate, an AI native vector database to help us create vector embeddings and store them in a schema that we've created. This will be the basis of our RAG application to help us generate marketing emails based on the data retrieved. We do this through a combination of vector search and generative search, which will come as integrated modules in Weaviate. We'll also extend our initial prompts to ChatGPT to create some descriptive imagery and then use these in a diffusion model to create images. If this sounds interesting to you, let's go ahead and get started. This video is going to walk through a Jupyter Notebook that uses APIs from several SaaS services including OpenAI and Replicate. We'll do things incrementally so you won't have to spend too much time registering for accounts just to find API keys to get started. When we get to a point in the notebook where we need a new API key for some service, I'll let you know so you can go get it and add it to your environment variables also. All right, let's go test the feasibility of this in ChatGPT. In our project, we want to create JSON objects that represent a hotel. We want the objects to be flat and have information such as the address, the name, landmarks that are close by, etc. Okay. So here's the list I put together and formatted it roughly into a JSON object where the data types of each field are specified. Next up, we're going to see how feasible everything is in the chat interface of ChatGPT to generate objects with this format before we jump into any code. In the ChatGPT interface, let's ask it to generate a hotel with the following JSON object type that we created a moment ago. Feel free to pause the video to read this prompt, but I'm basically just instructing ChatGPT to create this JSON object and make uh, references to San Francisco, and then I include the template below. So let's go ahead and send this. Pretty good already. Now I want to add some complexity, such as specifying the top amenity specifically, and then making a reference to some kind of uh, landmark. So here's a new prompt, an updated prompt that says San Francisco landmark, Golden Gate Bridge, and specifying the top amenity as private spa. And of course, we send the, the JSON template again, and let's see what happens. Golden Gate View Hotel and Spa. Top amenity, private spa. Cool, I'm pretty happy with this. Not bad, I'm pretty happy with the results already and I'm confident that ChatGPT can do this for us. Let's jump over to a Jupyter Notebook now and convert what we just did into some code. Okay, first things first. We'll execute through a Jupyter Notebook I published to GitHub. That means you can clone it and follow along too. You can just head on over to this repository and you can find the link in the description below. Once you open up the GitHub link from the description in this video, you should get to this GitHub repository. What I'm going to do is click on code and grab the HTTPS URL and then head on over to my terminal. Here, I'll say git clone and paste the link and then hit enter. This will clone the repository to my local computer. And then from here, I'll access the repository, list the files, I have the Jupyter Notebook right here. I have a dependency list in requirements.txt, a readme, and a license file. First off, I'll start up a new Python virtual environment. We'll activate it. We'll install all the dependencies in requirements.txt. Okay, looks good. All we should need to do now is write Jupyter Notebook in order to kickstart the notebook. And we're in. I'm going to jump right into executing the notebook, but if you want to read anything here, feel free to pause the video. 
All right, well, let's open up our Jupyter Notebook. We're first going to set up the OpenAI API. And in order to do that, you're going to need an OpenAI API key. If you don't have one yet, go over to openai.com, register for an account, and then create the API key. Then take the API key and make sure you add it to your .env file and make sure that it's named OpenAI API key, like so. So we'll execute this first cell and this will create an OpenAI client. Great, this is just a warning, it's non-critical. Then we're gonna create a list of luxury amenities so that we can randomize uh, in order to make our hotels a little more interesting. We're basically seeding our, our hotels with some randomized data sets. So you can see we have spa and wellness centers, private infinity pools, Michelin starred restaurants, etc. So let's execute this cell. Then we're also going to create a list of San Francisco landmarks. So we have the Golden Gate Park, we have the Painted Ladies, Girardelli Square, etc. So let's go ahead and execute this cell. And this cell here is going to define a function that will generate the hotel for us and make a call against the chat completions API with the same prompt that we passed into chat GPT earlier. So our first step is to randomize the selection of both an amenity and a landmark. We print them out just for visibility. And then we make the chat completion call against OpenAI using chat GPT 3.5 Turbo 1106. We're also using this uh, property or attribute here called response format and we're passing in type JSON object which will put chat GPT in JSON mode which is a new feature released by OpenAI on OpenAI Dev Day in November 2023. So from here what we'll do is we'll pass in the specific prompt generate the fictitious, generate the fictitious hotel etc. Uh, we say specify a specific landmark uh, and we pass in the landmark using an F string like so and the same is done with the amenity we say to include it in the top amenity object. And then we pass in the JSON object so that ChatGPT knows what to make it look like. And when it's done, we will just return, here we go. So when it's done, we'll just return the object um, as a JSON dictionary. So now if I were to run this cell, this is actually gonna go and generate a hotel, store it in hotel dict, and then print out the results. So let's give it a try. So here is the hotel we've created called Golden Gate Park Inn, 1234 Park Avenue. Uh, it's got free Wi-Fi. The top amenity is pet services, and just like it shows here, and the randomized landmark is Golden Gate Park. So Golden Gate Park Inn. Okay, so now we can programmatically create these hotel objects in our Python Jupyter Notebook. Next, we'll create an embedded instance of Weaviate. That means running it locally on your computer and the data is saved on disk and vector lookups happen in memory. All right, to create an embedded instance of Weaviate, the first thing we need to do is import Weaviate and import embedded options from Weaviate.embedded. Then we can create a Weaviate client passing in these embedded options and then passing in an OpenAI API key as an additional header so that Weaviate client can interact with OpenAI on our behalf to create vector embeddings for us and to vectorize our queries. Okay, so let's go ahead and execute this cell. So now a Weaviate embedded instance is running locally. Let's go ahead and delete classes because I've run this previously and I'd like to have a fully fresh database in order for us to run this. But if you have never run this before, this will give you an error because of course there's no hotel schema on your computer. All right, so that finished. This cell will create a schema based on the JSON object that we defined earlier. So in this case, we're saying we have a JSON, uh, we have a class named hotel. We're specifying use text to vec OpenAI as the vectorizer. And this is why we need the OpenAI key passed into the Weaviate client, because the Weaviate client will receive these objects for us and use text to vectorizer, use text to vec vectorizer and vectorize our data for, for us. Then we specify each, uh, each of the properties. We have a name, we have an address, we have proximity to attractions. And some of these, I am configuring the fields to skip vectorization because I don't want to do vector search over them. So here I'm vectorizing over the name. Uh, I am 
vectorizing over accessibility options, the type of hotel, Wi-Fi, breakfast, pool and spa, etc. You can go through this schema if you'd like, but what I'm going to do is execute the cell just so that we have it in our Jupyter Notebook. And then I'm going to create the schema against the Weaviate embedded client. So this now creates the schema against the Weaviate embedded client. And here we'll create 10 hotels um, just through a for loop. And then we'll store them in Weaviate embedded using this client call to data object.create. We'll pass in the hotel data and then we specify the schema. So let's go ahead and execute this for 10 hotels. All right, so this is done. Let's go and see what's next. So because we've added these 10 hotels to our vector database, we can now do some interesting things against them, such as vector search and generative search. The following cell executes both a vector search to find specific hotels of some specific parameters that we can specify, and then it will apply generative search with a specific prompt and pass in details of each hotel into that prompt. So I'll show you. Here's the generate prompt. Explain in an email why this hotel, with a given name, could be good for people traveling for business. Here's a business-related amenity, business amenities, and if there's some good ways to kick back and relax, you can reference those too, and here's the top amenity. So these, in these um, handlebars, are passed in as attributes from each object in the schema. And we pass in the generate prompt into the with generate attribute, and actually, the reason why this works is because the generate, the generate module is included in the schema and is included in the Weaviate embedded instance. So I'll show you what that looks like. Over here, we're using generative OpenAI, and we're specifying specific model, GPT-35 Turbo 16K, with a max number of tokens. And this will basically make calls against OpenAI on our behalf with the specific prompt as demonstrated here. And when we get back our results, we are limiting them to two, and we pass them to the large language model to generate these emails. And then from there, we just print out, print out these results. So, okay, so what we have here is we're searching for hotels with some specific concept that's business related. Let's just execute this and see what we get. All right, dear recipient, I hope this email finds you well. I wanted to bring your attention to a hotel that I believe would be a great option for people traveling for business, the Chinatown Retreat Hotel. Here's another one. Uh, the Koi Tower Hotel, ideal accommodation for business travelers. I hope this email finds you well. I'm ready to introduce you to the Koi Tower Hotel, a premier accommodation option that I believe would be perfect for your upcoming business trip. Okay, so using the generative search module, you're able to create any kind of textual response by making calls to a large language model and you can pass in the prompt directly in your vector search query uh, through the generative module provided um, and integrated in Weaviate. We'll grab one of the hotels we created earlier and create some descriptions on top of them so I'll do that manually with the chat completion library with prompts to create general descriptions and one that is focused on descriptive imagery. Okay to continue into the next part go to replicate and create an API key. Put the API key into your .env file and make sure it's named how you see it on screen. We'll start by grabbing one of the hotels we created earlier. In this first cell, we're just taking that hotel, printing it, and showing it on screen. It's the Mission Oasis Hotel. And I have another prompt here that says, in some number of words or less, describe the following JSON in a descriptive manner. And then I print out the response. So let's go ahead and do that. The Mission Oasis Hotel is a medium-sized boutique hotel in San Francisco. Um, personalized city tours, etc. What we're going to do with this is pass it to a stable diffusion model to generate some imagery on what this hotel could look like. We also have another call to ChatGPT here, which basically asks it to write descriptive imagery of what the hotel could look like and use this to help us visualize the hotel. So let's go ahead and do this one too. Uh, okay, so here we go. The Mission Oasis Hotel is a medium-sized boutique hotel located at 123 Mission Street in San Francisco. Picture a charming establishment with modern decor and incorporates cultural influences from the Mission District. Awesome. This is quite a long description. 
So as I mentioned at this point, you should have a replicate API key. Make sure that you have it in your .env file as shown here. And what this cell will do is create a replicate client with the API key that you passed in. We'll go ahead and execute this. Great. Here, we make a call against replicates specific model, stability AI. And if you Google search for this, you'll see that it's just the stability AI stable diffusion model. We pass in a specific prompt. Uh, th in this case, we are manually crafting the prompt, uh, specifying the top amenity and specifying proximity to, uh, to attractions. And then we print the image to screen as shown here with a width and height of 600. So let's just go ahead and run this. And in this second image that we create, we're just passing in the entire description of the imagery. So that's gonna be this entire block of text here. And you could edit this Jupyter Notebook to pass in the, descriptive, the description that we created earlier also, but I'm not gonna do that. So we'll wait a second until this finishes and we should get a image of a sleek and modern luxury hotel with some specific top amenity and proximity to attractions. There is our hotel. Looks great. And there's the Golden Gate Bridge in the back. Transamerica Pyramid in the distance, what it looks like anyways. All right, and let's try passing in the entire descriptive imagery that we created earlier also. Looks quite San Franciscan. Uh, we have some of the text there, not super great, but does have some Mission District vibes. And that's it. You now know how to create JSON objects with the new JSON mode feature in several OpenAI models, and how to store them in Weaviate to apply vector search and generative search and create descriptions that you can use to prompt a diffusion model to help generate images for your mock data also. From here on out, you can do anything with this new skill, from populating your own application demos to creating immersive applications on generated images. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you found it informative. Happy building with Weaviate, and if you have any questions, please share with us on our community Slack. Details are in the description below. See you next time.